I'm Rita May and this is Ones to Watch. I've been passionate about music since I was really young, writing songs since I was like five years old and over the past few years I've been trying to find my sound a bit more and now I consider myself an alternative pop artist. I'm inspired by like a huge variety of sounds for my music. It used to be very sad girl singer-songwriter on the guitar and I think since I started learning how to produce and record things myself it's kind of gotten a bit more energetic. I guess just a bit more fun and now I kind of consider it sad girl pop I guess. <laughs> Usually I find I can't really write about things when I'm in the thick of the emotion. I'll have to sort of go through things and feel them and I'll kind of just be like stuck in the feeling and it's not till after I come out of it and feel a bit better that I'll often like come to some lyrics or you know sit down with my guitar or the piano and actually start articulating how I feel about it. I'll just write random things in my diary or my notes and sort of come back to those when I'm actually in the process of writing a song and that usually just happens kind of all at once. I'll have a rough melody and just like the mumbling lyrics that gradually form into something cohesive. For me, when I'm performing live, the most important thing is to, I guess, capture the feeling of the song, which sounds pretty obvious, but um, the way my songs are recorded, it's often hard for me to get like a live band sounding the same as the way I've recorded them, because I've just used a whole lot of like fake sounds downloaded from the internet and stuff, so I haven't quite figured out how to incorporate that into my live thing. So the most important thing for me is just like trying to capture the energy of the song, I guess. Um, yeah, and just having band members that are actually really into the music and understand the feeling and we can all, as a group, try to create that together, which, you know, has been a bit of a process, but I think I'm getting I'm getting there. It, it's feeling good at the moment. If I could have a featured artist, the current one that I'm really wanting to have one of my songs is another New Zealand artist called Molly Payton. Um, she's incredible and I just think we would make a sick duet. Yeah. Oh, I love so many things about creating music. It sounds like such a cringe cliche, but the most beautiful thing about it to me is just connecting with people. I think music has this, it's like this magic otherworldly thing of connecting in this way with people that you just never could in regular conversation or I guess normal situations. You can just be so, so honest and you'll write about this feeling that you feel completely alone in. And then I'll like send it to my sister or my best friend or something and they'll get it or you'll sing it at a show and people feel it. And it's just this magic thing of realizing that your most kind of intense, isolating feelings, like you're not alone in them. And I guess no one is. And I just think that's just an amazing thing to me to realize there's so many songs that kind of, like other people's songs that got me through these crazy, awful things that you just kind of can't find anywhere else. Yeah, that's why I love it. <laughs> you can check out my full performance on onestowatch.com. <laughs>